In every corner of our vibrant world, there are many extraordinary festivals awaits our exploration. They may be as diverse as the nations they originate from, but they all share a common magic. To give you unforgettable memories that can make your heart smile for years. And now, let's dive into the captivating world of festivals. Pizza! 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 Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your hats because we're about to plunge into a festival in Japan that's as cheeky as it is cheerful. Yes, it's Kanamala Matsuri, the Festival of the Steel Phallus. What the hell are you talking about? Wait, wait, wait. Before you jump to any conclusions, let me assure you, it's not just another sausage fest. In fact, the primary purpose of the festival is to celebrate fertility, promote sexual health awareness, and even raise funds for HIV research. The three phallus-shaped mikoshi in the Kanamala Matsuri Festival in Japan are the phallus boat mikoshi, the Elizabeth mikoshi, and the great phallus mikoshi. It's definitely not all about giant phalluses, the festival boasts vibrant costumes, traditional dances, and a joyful atmosphere that could rival any carnival. And speaking of wooden performances, there are stalls galore selling phallus-shaped foods, candies, and quirky accessories. If you ever dreamed of biting into a light-hearted snack with a sense of humor, this is your chance. So, whether you're in it for the fun, the fertility, or just some fantastic food, Kanamala Matsuri is a festival that's bound to leave you with bellyaching laughter and some unforgettable stories. Because, after all, it's a celebration that's hard to forget. <laughs> Kukri Festival, a historical and artistic celebration that offers a truly unique experience. Around the new year, many towns and villages in Bulgaria come alive with the festivities of Kukri. So, what's the story behind these fantastical figures? Kukri dancers, often adorned in terrifying masks and accompanied by jingling bells, have a special role. They are believed to chase away evil spirits and bring about a good harvest, health, and happiness for the village throughout the year. But the magic of Kukri goes beyond being a visual spectacle, it's a powerful tradition that dates back more than 4,000 years. Wow. Yes, you heard that right. It's an ancient celebration that has stood the test of time. These enormous masks and costumes are truly works of art, with each one more intricate and bizarre than the last. From monstrous creatures to comical characters, they'll make you question reality and embrace the fantastical. Here's where the real fun begins. You're not just a passive spectator, you're an active participant. You can dance, laugh, and even take part in the ancient rituals. It's a time when strangers become friends, and everyone's heart beats to the rhythm of the Kukri drums. The Kukri festival is more than just a remarkable experience, it's a journey that immerses you in the rich cultural traditions of Bulgaria. Tomatoes can be food, a dipping sauce, or a drink. But did you know they can also be a weapon? Daddy, chill. We don't do that here. Picture this, a tiny town in Spain where the streets are literally painted red, and the weapon of choice is none other than ripe and juicy tomatoes. That's right, they are turning food into fun, and it's an absolute riot. The La Tomatina Festival happens annually on the last Wednesday of August in Bunal, a quaint village in Spain. Approximately 40 metric tons of tomatoes are used. When you step into the tomato-splattered chaos of La Tomatina, strangers become allies, and friends turn into tomato-tossing warriors. Once the fun is over, you'll be surprised to see how quickly the town returns to normal. So, if you happen to be in Spain in late August and you're up for the adventure of a lifetime, don't miss this epic tomato showdown, where red is not just a color, it's the spirit of La Tomatina. I know what you're thinking, a gang with face masks throwing oil-soaked rags. This must be a riot somewhere, right? No, it's actually a festival called Bolas de Fuego in El Salvador. Or you can simply call it the Fireball Festival. This tradition has been going on for more than a century. But it's not just a show. The festival honors the miracle of Saint Jerome, who saved the town from a volcanic eruption. Instead of throwing snowballs, they're throwing fireballs. It's like a game of dodgeball for daredevils. Are you up for the challenge? 
join the fiery fiesta, become one with the flames, and experience the exhilaration of a lifetime. Another captivating Japanese festival has earned its spot on our list, the Hadaka Matsuri, famously known as the Naked Festival. It's a day when fearless participants, adorned in nothing but loincloths, gather for exhilarating rituals that vary across the different Hadaka Matsuri held across Japan. Each festival has its unique set of activities, attracting thousands of eager participants who come to immerse themselves in this tradition. What makes this festival truly special is that it's not about victory or defeat, instead, it's about the profound camaraderie that emerges, the rhythmic chants, the infectious drumming, and the pure rush of adrenaline. The electrifying atmosphere unites everyone in a shared experience that's believed to bring luck for the entire year. Whether you choose to dive into this festival or simply witness it, the Hadaka Matsuri is an extraordinary celebration that gives you an unforgettable experience. Son Glong is the Buddhist New Year celebration, the biggest and most important festival in Thailand. It's when people pay respects to their elders and visit temples to offer blessings. It's also a time for creating stunning sand pagodas, a tradition that showcases incredible artistry. But let's be honest, the highlight of Son Glong is the epic water battle that ensues. <laughs> it's a time when you are not just welcomed with open arms, but with buckets of water and playful water gun fights. Streets turn into water war zones day and night, even the most serious faces crack into smiles and laughter. It's a festival where water becomes laughter, where tradition meets modernity, and where everyone, regardless of age, becomes a kid again. <laughs> Holi, known as the Festival of Colors, is a celebration of love, unity, and the victory of good over evil. It typically falls in February or March. The streets in India become a swirling sea of colors, and the air is filled with music, laughter, and, well, flying gyal. Now, don't be surprised if a rainbow-colored stranger gives you a hug, it's just a friendly and colorful ambush. Holi is like a free hugs festival, but with more color and less paperwork. Whether you're in India or anywhere in the world, it is a time to dance to the beats of traditional music and create unforgettable memories. It's a day when age, caste, and background melt away in the wash of colors. Welcome to the enchanting Pinchy Lantern Festival, a place where dreams take flight, and the night sky becomes a canvas of wishes, right in the heart of Taiwan. The festival is usually celebrated in February. Releasing lanterns is an activity you can do in quite a few places in Taiwan throughout the year, but the Lantern Festival in Pinchy is on a whole different scale. It's a celebration of hope, dreams, and an excuse to write the most heartfelt wishes on your lantern. They carry your wishes and aspirations to the night sky, just like little wish couriers. The magic of Pingxi isn't just in the lanterns, it's in the unity it fought. Families and friends come together, sharing their dreams and lighting up both the sky and the faces of everyone who's there to watch. It's like a grand dream-sharing party. On the other hand, the Ipeng Lantern Festival in Chiang Mai, Thailand, is deeply spiritual, with many events involving Buddhist monks and ceremonies. The lantern release is often accompanied by offerings and prayers. It is primarily an act of merit-making, and lanterns are released to symbolize the floating away of misfortunes and the welcoming of good luck. Cheese Rolling and Wake, one of England's quirkiest and most exhilarating traditions. Imagine a steep, grassy hill, a giant wheel of cheese, and a crowd of fearless competitors poised at the starting line. In the charming town of Gloucestershire, the annual Cheese Rolling and Wake Festival defies gravity and common sense every end of May. They all share the same mission, to chase that cheese down the hill. To be honest, this looks very painful to me. I guess the main goal is to finish the race in one piece, which is not easy to achieve. Ambulances and medical staff are on standby because every year there are injuries. The women's race winner of 2023 even won the race unconsciously, only learning of her victory in the medical enclosure. I remember running and then I hurt my head. And then I woke up in the tent. Why would people do this? For glory, laughter, and a whole lot of cheese of course. I'm gonna come back next year and do it again to reclaim your title. I think I will. <laughs> Some people say a festival without wine is not a real festival. What about a festival with just wine? 
The Hera Wine Festival, also known as the Battle of Wine, takes place in the charming town of Harrow, Spain, every year on June 29. It's an explosion of joy, a vibrant fiesta that paints the town red, and we mean red wine to be precise. It's not about politely sipping it from a glass, it's about drenching yourself and everyone around you in it. This is the one moment when it's totally acceptable to get wine wasted without judgment. And while you're turning every shade of red, there's also dancing, music, and an euphoria that's nearly impossible to put into words. It's an unique celebration where wine flows freely, red is the new white, and everyone toasts to the ecstasy of life. 